Master these 25 Mac shortcuts to work faster and smarter. Harsh Benani Harsh has helped a lot of multinational corporations and startups to leverage technology for greater productivity. Read full profile. In a busy day, you know it well what it means to save a second of time. It seems a waste of time to leave your keypad and fiddle on your mouse or keypad. Another approach to save those seconds is to remember Mac shortcuts to work faster and smarter. This will truly make your work quicker than trifling on mouse or touchpad. In fact, not using keyboard shortcuts actually makes you lose 64 hours every year. I think all of you know Command C means copy and Command V means paste. But there are a lot more shortcuts other than these. The following commands have been compiled to skyrocket your productivity. Sometimes you may find a couple of difficulties using console substitute routes in Mac as the OS and a couple of uses may struggle with each other. If you come across such problems, then please refer to Mac Help for your version of the operating system or you may also refer to a utility application. This shortcut helps you to hide or show the dock. It is particularly important in MacBooks where the screens are smaller and you need more real estate. With the dispatch of Mac OS Sierra, Windows now can carry a tab. However, all the applications in Mac Sierra may not bolster multi-tab control. For the ones which do, you can press Command plus T to open another tab. I write a lot of mails and a lot of people write to me as well. Hence when I want to reply to someone instead of hunting for the reply button, I simply click Command plus R and a new reply box opens up. This is an amazing feature Apple has added to the Mac. If you are searching for something on your operating system or on the web then you can call for a spotlight. You can do this merely by holding Command plus Spacebar. If you want to learn how a custom application works or are stuck up with troubleshooting of Mac, a quick shortcut from the keyboard for help, then just hit Command plus Shift plus. Sometimes when working with an app, it might so happen that the system hangs and stops working. The mouse or touchpad is of no use and at that point just by pressing Command plus Option plus ESC together you can quit the application. Although most readers would know this, these are important functions and worth mentioning. These four shortcuts, cut, copy, paste and undo can be summoned using command plus X, C, V, Z respectively. If you are perusing a long article and looking for a specific word or expression, you can take the assistance of find order by holding command plus F. A finder pops up and you can easily enter your search term and it will navigate to all the places in the document where the word term is mentioned. When you press the command, a dialog box will be opened, asking you what would you like your system to do further, sleep, shut down or restart. If you'd like to select all the content of the document at one go, then this command comes in handy. Just press command plus A and the entire document will be selected. If you are going through a long record and need to go to a dedicated page without troubling your mouse, you can do so by holding the command plus up or down key. If you are not using a window and want to keep your desktop free of clutter, then the shortcut key you can use is command plus option plus H. The window you are working on is not of use now and you'd like to minimize it. Just press command plus M and your current active window will be minimized. In the event that you need to close a functioning window the order that you can utilize is command plus W. If you have to print a record, the key combinations that you can use is Control plus P. If you have a printer connected, a pop-up box will open and will ask for further necessary actions to print the document. If you are working with a document or a browser tab, hitting Command plus N will open up a new window. Remember a new window for the current active application opens up. For example, if you are surfing on your browser, activating the command will open up a new browser window. If you're on a document, a new document window will pop up. This is one of my favorite shortcuts that not too many people know about or use. However, it is super useful. If you have too many files on your desktop and would like to move them to a new folder, this command is what helps you out. Simply select all the files that you would like to be moved and press command plus control plus N. In a second, all the selected files will move to a new folder. You've found something on the internet and you would like to paste it on your document. 
most of the times. It ends up in a weird format. To solve this issue just use command plus shift plus V and the text will be pasted without any formatting. Making it easy to format the way you want it. The old classic. If you want to make your selection bold, italics or underline them, simply use the command button and press B, I, U respectively. Working with too many windows. It gets difficult to navigate seamlessly between applications when a lot of them are open. Use this command to easily navigate between windows. When I work on my Mac system, I usually use the volume keys frequently. However, I noticed that just pressing the volume key would increase, decrease the volume speedily. So I hunted down this shortcut. Depending on the usage of your Mac and the kind of work you do with it, you will find a selection of these shortcuts extremely helpful. You might already be using some of these shortcuts but adding a few of them to your arsenal will save you on those precious seconds that don't hamper your flow. If you are a new Apple user, it might be a bit challenging to get accustomed to these quickly. However, once you've got used to it, you'll be a lot more productive. Harsh has helped a lot of multinational corporations and startups to leverage technology for greater productivity. Bristol is the most congested city in England. Whenever I have to work at the office, I ride there, like most of us do. Furthermore, I always make sure to go at off hours, otherwise, the roads are jam-packed with cars, buses, bikes, even pedestrians. Why is that? Because everyone is working a traditional 9-to-5 workday. Where did the 9-to-5 come from? It all started back in 1946. The United States government implemented the 40-hour work week for all federal employees. And all companies adopted the practice afterwards. That's 67 years with the same schedule. Let's think about all the things that have changed in the 67 years. Computers used to take up entire rooms and took hours to make a single calculation. Now we have more powerful computers in our purses and back pockets with our smartphones. In 1946 a 9 to 5 job made sense because we had time after 5 p.m. for a social life. A family life. Now we're constantly connected to other people and the office. With the internet. Email on our smartphones. And hashtags in our movies and television shows. There is no downtime anymore. Enjoying your downtime is an important part of life. It recharges your batteries and lets you be more productive. Allowing people to balance life and work can provide them with much needed perspective and motivation to see the bigger picture of what they are trying to achieve. Some people are just more productive when they're working at their optimal time of day. After feeling well rested and personally fulfilled. For some that can be from 4 a.m. to 9 a.m. For others, it could be 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. People have their own rhythms and routines. It would be great if we could sync our work schedule to match. Simply put, the imposed 8-hour work day can be a creativity and morale killer for the average person in today's world. Fostering creativity among employees is not always an easy endeavor. But perhaps a good place to start is by simply not tying the tasks and goals to a fixed time period. Let them work on the to-do list at their own pace. And chances are, you'll get the best out of your employee who feels empowered instead of babysat. That's not to say that you should allow your team to run wild and do whatever they want. But restricting them to a 9 to 5 time frame can quickly demoralize people. Set parameters and deadlines. And let them work at their own creative best with the understanding that their work is crucial to the functioning of the entire team. Margaret Heffernan, an entrepreneur who previously worked in broadcasting, noted to Inc. that from her experience, treating employees like grown-ups made it more likely that they would behave the same way. The principle here is to have your employees work to get things done, not to just follow the hands on the clock. Yahoo! CEO Marissa Mayer famously recalled all her remote workers, saying she wanted to improve innovation and collaboration. But was that the right decision? We've all said that we're often more productive in a half-day working from home than a full day working in the office. Right. So why not let your employees work remotely from home? There are definitely varying schools of thought on remote working. Some believe that innovation and collaboration can only happen in a boardroom with markers, whiteboards and post-it notes and of course, this can be true for some. 
but do a few great brainstorms trump a team that feels a little less stressed and a little more free. Those who champion remote working often note that these employees are not counting the clock. Worried about getting home, cooking dinner or rushing through errands post-work. No one works the 9 to 5 straight without breaks here and there. Allowing some time for remote working means employees can handle some non-work related tasks and feel more accomplished throughout the day. Also, sometimes we all need to have a taste of working in our pajamas. Right, it'll be interesting to see how many traditional companies and industries start giving their employees more freedom with their work schedule. And how many end up rescinding the policies like Yahoo did. What are your thoughts of the traditional 9 to 5 schedule and what are you doing to help foster your team's productivity and creativity? Kid the comments and let us know. Text source, lifehack.org.